Hi everyone, welcome to U Science channel. On the physics practical on the principle of movement. Today we are going to look at how to manipulate values without actually carrying out the experiment. In the, my previous video, I determined the mass of the metal rule used to be 111 grams, that's 101 grams, using the principle of moment. So this is the measured value on a weighing balance. So I have the weight as 112.0, that's 112.0 which is just a little difference between this and this and we are open to be okay with both of the masses so what i intend to do in this video as you can see on this metal roll is this now when this is balanced when we balance this on the metal this metal roll on the knife edge without any mass attached to it the center of gravity of the metal was found to be at the 50 cm mark. So you can read through the instruction on what to do using this. So placing a mass of 20 grams here, you have to adjust the knife edge so as to obtain a new balance point. So by knowing the mass of the metal roll, which here I'm going to use as 101 gram, but that's what I used in my previous video as against this. But this is the measurement taken using this balance here. So, what I'm going to do is to we know that the center of gravity of my metal roll is at the 50 gram mass, so the mass of the ruler which I have taken to the capital letter M must always add through the 50 cm. Uh, point on the metal road then we are also told to put place a mass 20 grams at the 10 cm point permanently so all the masses that we are going to be using we are placed here permanently now the distance between this 10 and 50 is 40 now if we can determine the distance between this mass placed here and the a new point of balance the new point of balance is not necessarily 40 cm but for the purpose of this uh, this my ruler is just here and i place this here then the distance between this and this should not be 40 minus s which will have that's why we have this here now i have already done the uh, uh, manipulation now using the principle of moment we are going to have this let me just remove this So using the principle of moment, I'm going to have this clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. So the mass I'm going to use, I'm going to just place this here. The mass times x, that is 20 grams. That is 20 grams times x must be equal to the mass of the meter room, which is 101 grams times 40s. So if you do that, I'm going to arrive at this. All of these are just mathematical expressions. So what I just did was to place this here, 20 times s equals this, and I divided this by 20 to reduce my the stress of long mathematical uh, calculation. So when I divided this by 20, I got this. So I multiply this by this to so have 222. Then multiply this by x, I have 5.55x. So I place this this way, I move this one this way, making plus, and I added it to this. I had 6.55s, which is equal to 222. So dividing through by 6.55, I arrived at s equals 3.3, so 33.9 cm. And I use this method for all other masses. So remember that we have to replace the 20 gram mass with 40, 60, 80, and 100 gram. So on replacing those masses, on replacing those masses, I had I arrived at these values. So I arrived at all of these values. This is for 40 cm. I did the same thing for this, or for 40 gram rather. I did the same thing that I did with the first one. 
So I arrived at 29.0 cm. I did the same for this. I arrived at 26.0 cm. I did the same for this. I arrived at 23.2 cm. That is for 80 grams. And then finally for 100 grams, I got 21.0 uh, cm. So we are asked to re uh, record the values of n for each value of n. So I have an, a composite table here. This is my composite table. This is my composite table here. This. So I have an m in grams. I have x in cm, and I have one over s in per cm. So I just recorded the values as against all of them. So you can notice that there are little alterations in our measurement. In my first measurement, I got this to be 33.3. Now I have 33.9. So my approximate is 0.029. In the other one, I had 0.03. There is no much difference between them, which is within the range. And this, this, and this, we are also in conformity with what we had before. And this, we have a, a slight alteration. In the previous video, we had 0.05. Here we have 0.04. 0 0.045 in the previous video, and 0.048 for this. So with this, I am sure that you'll be able to manipulate results even without uh, taking readings. Again, you can take the principle of moment, use that to determine the mass of your metal where you don't have a weighing balance. How do you do that? Let me just recap on that. Balance this metal rail at the 50 cm mark and check if it will balance horizontally without placing any mass on either side of the pivot if it balances there that will be the center of gravity if it does not balance adjust a bit and it should be around that region maybe 49 point something if it does not balance at the 50 cm once you do that take a known mass and place it on any point on this side and adjust the the knife edge until it balances again. Once it balances, take the principle of moment, just determine the distance between this and this. Let's say, for example, what I have here, it balances at 40, so it means that the distance between this and this will be 30, and the distance between this will be what? 10. So all you do, just do is 10 times m is equals to whatever mass you place. Let's say if I put 20 here, 20 times 40, and you divide. When you divide, that will give you the mass of this metal. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, like button, and also subscribe. See you soon.